Right back to Sanchez, fires a shot, and score! Ryan Sanchez buries the biscuit. What luck could do about that? It's Cam Miller to the left, he goes, then moves back toward the center. Shot and a bad save. Backdoor pass, oh, Pallison, oh, backdoor oh, shot, score! Oh, wow! Chase Young from Zach Pierce. And right. in the back end, he scores! As he gets Gluck to come in again! And the Lancers win it, one to nothing. This is your Lancer Hockey Weekly Report. In week seven, the Lancers played their second straight interdivisional crossover game. This week, they took on Villa Park in the Battle of Orange. The Spartans had the first chance of the game, but A.J. Frosch held his ground to make a couple of nice stops. Back the other way, Matt Newson ripped one on goal for the slot, but he and Zach Pierce were both denied by Kyle Chow. Chandler Detola got a chance from the slot, but Chow snagged that one as well. The Lancers captain Chase Young finally broke through with a quick snapshot off a faceoff to give Olu the lead. With the floodgates open, Detola walked through the Spartans' defense and flipped one over Chow's shoulder to make the lead 2-0. And then leading scorer Zach Pierce slipped a backhander by Chow to make it 3-0 before the first break. Mid-second, Dale Artizone made things saucy on a 2-on-1, and Parker Brakeville tickled the twine to make it 4-0. The two would have scored again were it not for the pesky leg of Chow, who denied Brakeville on the doorstep. Fast forward to the third, Artizone got in the goal column, making the most of a slick pass by Young to make it 5-0. Finally, Shane Vidger rocked the Spartans to sleep with a deke at the top of the crease to produce the final score of 6-0. A.J. Frosch wasn't challenged much, but he made the nine saves he was tasked with to earn his second shutout of the season. Now it's time for your three stars of the week. Third star, Vail Artizone. A goal and two assists for him, four shots on goal and two pims. He was all over the stat sheet and would have racked up more were it not for Kyle Chow's efforts. He was only bested by his linemate Parker Brakeville, who had the same stat line, a goal and two assists, and had one more shot on goal. Parker had only one assist in the previous seven games, so it was a big breakthrough for him offensively. Your first star, though, was Chase Young. The captain broke open the scoring in the first period, notching the eventual game winner. He also added two assists to complete the trio of Lancers with three points in this contest. The Lancers will take the ice for a third crossover matchup in three weeks this Saturday at 6 p.m. when they face off against vaunted Capistrano United. The Coyotes are in first place in Division II this year with a 4-1-1 record and have a plus 23 goal differential, winning by an average of nearly four goals per game. They were the D2 champs in 2014 and runner-ups last year. Needless to say, it should be a run-and-gun showdown between these two high-powered offenses this weekend. Be sure to get down to the rinks at Anaheim Ice to catch all of the action. As always, be sure to get your Lancer Hockey Gear at LancerHockeyGear.com and follow the team on Facebook and Twitter. Go Lancers! Go Lancers!